Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, April 20th, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So let's look at uh, the ARK Innovation ETF. We'll start by looking at that. And as you can see, we have fallen quite a bit. We are down 3.47% at this current stage. And we found a, quite a bit, a bit of a support down here at the 150 moving average. But uh, it doesn't look very promising for this ETF at the moment. It's more likely that we'll break the 150 and head towards the 20, uh, 200 moving average down here at 112. So that's an additional drop of 7.24%. So the reason why I say that is because we have broken the middle of the bullish band and usually when it, when we basically break that, it heads towards the bottom of the bullish band and that is just above the 200 moving average. Other technical indicators are also turning around. Stochastic is very bearish. The RSI is bearish. The CCI is heading in towards uh, negative territory and uh, we can see that we are still in negative territory here in the MACD and it's about to round off and cross the signal line. So... All of these indicators are indicating that this will most likely go lower before going higher. So we found major support down here at 109. The last time we have tested it basically several times. And at the moment, it looks like we're heading back towards those levels. Break above here, then we'll find major resistance up here at 113, uh, 30. So let's look at the DVI. So we have pulled back a little bit. We're in, uh, here and that was basically expected as we were significantly outside here at the bullish band and we were also significantly overbought. Technically, otherwise, the, the MACD is underneath the signal line and is, be, is bearish. The CCI is still bullish and the stochastic is uh, still bullish. So we could see a pullback right here towards the middle of the bullish band. That's a drop of 1.6% down to 115. That is most likely... Um, looks like what is going to happen here and before we go higher we're still in this uptrend so pullbacks have been bought into uh, for basically all the way back to november so let's look at vti so the same here for vti we are we are basically down at 0 0.74 percent at this current stage and we're trading at the 215. Technical indicators, they are still bullish, but they are turning around. We are significantly overbought here. MACD is still in, in bullet, um, still above the signal line, but it is rounding off, so it may cross the signal line within the next few trading days. CCI is underneath 100, so it's becoming bearish. The stochastic is bullish, and uh, we can see that we basically have been hugging the top of the uh, bullish band for a really long time, and a pullback towards the middle was basically expected. So at the moment, uh, we could see another uh, fall in the next few trading days of give or take 2.2%. Uh, 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 but this is an uptrend and uh, those pullbacks towards the 20, 40 and the 50 moving average, even the 100 moving average have all been bought into in, in uh, recent months. So let's look at MCHI. So also here, we did rally on Friday and then we gave most of those gains back today. We're down 0.26%. We are basically right here in the middle of the Bollinger Band. Uh, technical indicators are fairly mixed. So we have been trading sideways uh, for the last few trading days. And we, that basically, uh, we can see that in the basically technical indicators. But the CCI is just completely flat. So is the RSI. MACD, nothing really is happening here. We're still above the signal line and it is heading toward positive territory, but is is moving really slowly. If we break below the middle of the bullish band, we could head towards the very bottom. That is just at the, the 200 moving average, and that's a drop of 3.1%. Uh, Rally from here, we'll most likely find the resistance here at the 40. So that's a 1.6 uh, increase. And also here at the 150 moving average, that's an increase of give or take 4.6%. Stochastic is has crossed the signal line and is bullish, but at this current stage, this can basically drop. It can go uh, to the upside. Um, technical indicators are technically just everywhere at this current stage. So let's look at IVV. 
So IBB had uh, reached the top here on Friday and today we are basically breaking down, which was fairly expected. So we could see there's a drop towards the middle of the bullish band or 20 exponential moving average. So a drop, an additional drop of give or take 1.7%. If we drop below that, then we can find, we'll most likely find support down here at the 40 and the 50. And there's a drop of uh, give or take 4.3%. Uh, Technically indicators, they are all uh, they're still in bullish territory, but they are turning around. So the MACD is um, turning, uh, is rounding off here, most likely going to cross the signal line within the next day or two. Stochastic is still bullish. MACD and the RSI has is turning around and it's becoming bearish. So is the CCI. And as you can see, we are very close to the top of the bullish band and, all, and also this upper trend line. So a pullback towards the middle is most likely what's going to happen here. And... Uh, then will buyers will come back in and buy this to the upside. We are in uptrend and these pullbacks have basically all been bought into and there's no basically sign that we are going to drop further than the 50 or even 100 moving average. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.